Hey guys, this is Zach OX, and right now I'm going to go over um, the class module and the with events in the class class module. Um, use the with events when you're trying to usually copy a control and the events that happen with it. Um, I'm going to show you how that happens right about now. So we're going to go with standard exe, get it open. Yeah, first thing you're going to do is right click over here and add class module. Just hit open. Okay. Um, the reason we're going to use a with events is because with the user control, we could set up properties, um, but our properties couldn't be something like an object, a control, uh, text box. So if you wanted to copy um, code from one text box to the other, you couldn't do it um, with the user controls property. The way you do it is with the class. <clears throat> so what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to do it with the option uh, explicit in the form load, or excuse me, the form, uh, how to declare as new, and then uh, how to use it. So let's just get started. Option explicit, I'm in the class right now. Uh, public, um, we're going to create a text box thing, uh, events, so we're going to say public with events. So anything that happens with the text box, we can uh, copy right here with the events. Um, and we have to give it a name. Oops. Okay. Now we need to copy down one of the events of this thing. Um, I know from memory. The click event one of the easiest ones. Alright, and whenever this text box gets clicked, actually I have a message box, click event. Okay, so there we go, we've got the with events. How do we tie it to a text box within the form? Um, go to view, code, or form, start with the option, and explicit. Now, in the video, the other previous video, I said I was going to say something about the option of explicit, but I had forgotten. So right now, I'm going to be able to remember this. What we need is um, tying the class to a variable first. So we go private class um, text box as new class one. So we're still creating the instance. We're making another copy. Um, now we need the form load, and in the form load, we've created a new copy, but it doesn't know what text box. So we can't have dim in this case in the form load because what will happen is if we want to click that text box at any time, then we need to be outside the form load because after the form load, we may want to click it. So that's why we put option explicit. <clears throat> so here now we're going to do is set. Now I think I talked about set but I didn't really show a video. With set we're um, making one one object equal to the other or we're asking um, well actually we're just making one object equal to the other. I'm just going to leave it at that for right now because that's what we're doing uh, most cases, that's all it's ever going to be. So we have set uh, class text box dot control text box equal to text one. All right, with that, now when we run the program, we click within here, the um, code goes off on the class and click. Now we wonder, okay, how is that useful? Well, let's add a whole bunch of text boxes. And in here we can have a whole bunch more. And just tie them together the same way. So we would copy this. Paste. Text box two, text box two, and 
for text box three. Let's just go ahead and do it. Oops. All right, we got it. Now I go ahead and run. And any of these text boxes we click, that code's going to go off. How is this useful? Well, since this is the width events, we can do um, other than just clicking. We could have key press, we could have um, anything pretty much that is within the events of a text box. How do we find those? We go to the text box, double click, and as it brings up the text box code, you can click on the top right here, um, and you can see what events that you can copy. All these. So, um, it's really cool. So if somebody mouses down, we could have a picture showing or something change. Instead of writing all this code for one text box and then the next and then the next, we just tie the text boxes to the class. And we create instances of it, copies. <laughs> so that's how you use the with events. Um, thanks for watching this video. And until next time.